Hey guys, so I'm back on the road again. There's no rest for the wicked here. Um, I'm running out to a neighboring suburb because I need to get some supplies for my cat. I haven't given you guys an update on what all was said at the vet and everything, and I will do that. But, um, actually I'll do that right now. So, I took her to the vet on Saturday, as I said. And she was really, really weak. And he showed me right away just how dehydrated she was. She was really quite severely dehydrated. He kind of pulled her eyelids down, like her, her under eye thing down and her upper one up. And he showed me just how sunk in her eyes were. So, he wanted to do blood work. He wanted to do sub-Q fluids. He wanted to give her pills to stimulate her appetite. Um, he mentioned, oh, and he wanted to test her thyroid and her urine as well. So we did all that. And he mentioned that we could do like, um, oh shoot. of it. I've got such a terrible brain today. Um, dialysis. Because she's got kidney disease, the option is we could always do dialysis. And No, we're not doing dialysis. We're an 18-year-old kitty cat. Um, and the other thing he mentioned was rather than the sub-Q fluids, what would work better would be if I left her with him and he could do IV fluids. And that sounds great and all, but Unfortunately, cost does come into play with all of this, and um, I just don't feel comfortable leaving her with him so that they can do whatever they want and just charge you. So we didn't do that, um, but he did do the sub-Q fluids that day, gave her the pills, took blood work, all that. And... Um, then he gave me fluids, like a fluid pack to do the next day at home. And I have done fluids before on an animal. I had to do it on my rabbit. So I had an idea. And he also just kind of refreshed my memory and showed me how to do it. So we did that on Sunday. And then Monday was a holiday. And Tuesday I had to go back to work. So she didn't have fluids Monday or Tuesday. And by Tuesday night, she was again very weak and uh, not eating. So it wasn't good. So I, I knew that she wasn't eating because I went home at lunch. So on my way home from work that night, I decided to pick up some more fluids and some more of their vet approved food, which also is extremely expensive. It's like a third the size of my regular cans that I've been giving her, and it was more money than the large can that I've been giving her. So that would add up as well. So I've been trying to get her to eat that. She'd eat a little bit here and there, but not really anything. So um, I've been pretty nervous, kind of, because, like I say, it's been one day, she's been okay, and then the next day, not so good and not eating at all. So I put a post on the cat site, which I'm a member of, and just kind of asked for guidance and, you know, wisdom as far as, because I know there's a lot of people there that have, have gone through this and are going through this, and I got a lot of help there, a lot of support anyway, and that's a lot of help. So, like, I'm going to this um, neighborhood next to ours, for is um, to get more uh, sub-Q fluids, hopefully the IV line and some needles so that I can continue this. It's a lot cheaper to do it this way than it is to go and get it from the vet. One package of a thousand milliliters with the line and the needles, they charge 35 plus tax. And the fluids themselves, oh, here where I'm getting them, are going to be $2 and something. The lines are $2 and something, and then the needles are going to be like 14 cents each. So it'll save a lot of money and help so that we can continue to do this for her. 
and I was kind of getting really depressed and worked up about the whole thing and I wasn't sure how Kitty would do putting a needle through her skin and putting fluids under her skin but bless her heart she is really doing quite well with it she doesn't want to be there for it but you know I can kind of push her back down and just gently I mean I'm not being rough with her but just hold her down a little bit and get her to stay and by the end of doing it last night because now I have to do it every other night I did it uh, two nights in a row I'm not sure what two nights now it's been a little bit of a blur did it two nights in a row and then now I have to do it every other night so we did it last night and by the end of it she was purring so sweet little girl the appetite stimulating pills that he gave her not really doing anything to be honest and uh, one of the other things that the people on the cat site forum said to me is you know at her age don't worry so much about feeding her the prescription food what it is is it's very low in phosphorus so so that it's easier on her kidneys but more important than that is that she's eating period so they said just if you can get her to eat something just get her to eat it even if it's baby food or the food that she was on before so I put some food that she's been on up till now out and she did eat a little bit so we're just taking it one day at a time and so this way by coming out here and getting a bag and that way I'm not buying 10 or 12 or whatever and we can just take it one day at a time and see how it goes. So that's what I'm up to right now and I'll see you a little later. She can't actually hear that well. I'm using my fingers to signal her. Yeah, she's got a favorite corner she likes to get to. Come on, kitty. My girl. Hey, baby. Such yes. a sweet heart, aren't you? You're just an old love, You're just an old girl. Can't quite reach your back end. No, it's tough. Hard to lay down. Everything. I don't know if it hurts. Definitely stiff. But she's thinned right out. She's only six pounds, just over six pounds. But she's still a sweetie. <laughs> 